After last week's meeting, I thought, what would I want if I was Steve and Eve's age? And I realised it would be to let my loved ones know who I truly am. This week, I've decided to set a bit of, bit of homework for everyone. I'd like you to tell your loved ones about the things you've done. I know, it's going to be a bit hard. My mum already knows. She's really proud of me. Oh, Eve, I'm very happy to hear that. Steve, is there anyone you'd like to tell? Um, I guess I could tell Glenn I was a serial killer. You weren't a serial killer. Well, I was actually, so... Whatever. Yeah, barely. No, not barely. Very much so, actually. How many people did you kill? Well, numbers aren't important, are they? It's more about quality over quantity. Was it two? It was more than two. Three? It was five. Well, four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, because I stabbed him and then I felt bad, so I called an ambulance, but he did die, then they brought him back to life, so I still count it. I'm going to tell Glenn that I'm a serial killer today and to be honest I'm not really too worried about it because we're ride or die like Biggie and Tupac. Which one should I wear? How you doing buddy? You good? Yeah. Come on then. Um, I've got something I need to tell you and it's, it's not that easy to say. Right, Steve. I'm a recovering serial killer. Well, like you used to eat a lot of cereal. No, more like I used to kill people. Hello, mum. Yeah, oh, the ho the whole thing, the whole floor. Oh, that was your favourite one as well. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm right now. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be right. I'll be right over. That that was uh, my mum. I got her the whole the whole bloody floor is broken, mate. What? Yeah, the whole bloody thing's come in. I've got to go fix it now. The floor's yeah. Broken. Yeah, yeah. The whole bloody. Sorry, man. All right. Well, um, do you want to talk about this tomorrow? Yeah, I'll I'll give you a ring, mate. I'll give you a ring. All right. Well, good luck with that. With what? The floor been broken. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think he was lying about the floor being broken, do you? Hey Glenn, I'm just calling to say that that whole serial killer thing the other night, that was obviously a joke. Um, also, all the other messages I left, they were a joke too. Okay, bye. Do you think that came across blunt? No, I think, I think you're fine. Hey, Glenn, it's me again. Um, I'm just calling to let you know I wasn't being blunt on purpose and I miss you. <laughs> just kidding, obviously. Um, anyway, bye. Do you think that came across weird? A little. I better call him again. He's not coming, is he? Steve hasn't been to the last two meetings in well. We're worried. Yeah. I don't even care about Glenn. Didn't even like him in the first place. I think he's an idiot, if I'm honest. Plus, he's boring. So, I'm probably going to try and find a new best friend. One that isn't so judgmental, you know, you kill a couple people and, well, guess what? It wasn't my fault. If they weren't dressed so killable, they'd still be alive, wouldn't they? Oh my god, it's Glenn. Fuck, it's Glenn. 
It's going to be sick. Me and Glenn back together. Can we come in? Yeah, all right, whatever. Nice place. I like the windows. There isn't any windows. Yeah, that's what I like about them. Why didn't you come to the meeting today? Just didn't feel like it, to be honest. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine actually, I'm thriving. Just been chilling here, eating food, in my gown, crying. What's wrong, Steve? Glenn doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <It's so sad>. <laughs> <laughs> the two of us decided to leave because... We could see... But yeah, we both knew that. He was fine. Yeah, he's, he's always like that. Yeah. Whining in my teeth. Got to look good today. Glenn called and uh, we're going to meet up today. And... To be honest, I don't even think he's going to mention the whole serial killer thing because, you know, we're best friends. So we're probably just going to kick it like we normally do. Hey, Glenn. Come on hey. in, buddy. Hey. Come here. Come here. Look, Steve, like, we've been best mates for like six months now. Yeah, about six months. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I really have. You know, it's just, I didn't know you were a serial killer. What? Like, you know, if, if it was the thing about eating loads of cereal, I could get behind that. I mean, I love cereal. Who doesn't? But, like, serial killing, it's a bit much, mate. What, what do you mean? I, you know, I just, I don't think we could be best mates anymore, Steve. Really? You know, it's... It's not you, it's me. It's nothing to do with you. You're fine. It's just, I'm not ready to be best mates with a serial killer. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No hard feelings? <laughs> None at all. No. None Good. at all. Good. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Fuck. Oh, I killed Glenn. Fuck it, Ben Man can take him tomorrow. <laughs>